everyone. Today we'll be reviewing the national flag of Cuba. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of five horizontal stripes alternating between blue and white. There is a red equilateral triangle at the hoist, which is charged with a white five-pointed star. Overall, this is a fairly simple design and is easy to reproduce from memory. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. The flag was adopted in 1902. The flag was designed by Narciso Lopez with the help of Miguel Tuerbe Tolón. Lopez was an exiled Venezuelan who went to the United States. There, he fought for Cuban independence from Spain though he wanted Cuba to become part of the United States. The design of the flag is inspired by that of the United States. The three blue stripes represent the three departments that Cuba was divided into at that time. The white stripes in between represent the purity of ideas. The triangle at the hoist represents liberty, equality, and fraternity, which Lopez took from the motto of the French Revolution. The red color of the triangle represents the bloodshed and courage of the people. The star represents the idea that Cuba should be added as a state to the United States of America, though some claim it represents independence. The symbolism was excellent for its time, but now it's completely outdated. It's somewhat surprising that the communist regime under Fidel Castro decided to keep the flag, especially given the poor relationship between Cuba and the United States since the revolution in 1959. While the symbolism of the triangle and white stripes are still relevant, the remainder of the flag, including the overall design, is not. For this principle, the flag gets 2 out of 10. The flag has three colors, blue, white, and red. All three colors are part of the standard set. With contrast, we have an issue with the red of the triangle bordering the blue stripes. These two strong colors have poor contrast, though their borders don't take up a large area. Overall for color, the flag scores 8.5 out of 10. There is no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag is distinctive among sovereign flags. While it was influenced by that of the United States, the flag looks very different overall. A number of countries use a triangle at the hoist in a similar way to Cuba, but none of these closely resemble the Cuban flag. As a side note, the flag of Puerto Rico looks very similar to that of Cuba. Here we can see the similarities. The flags have an almost identical design with the red and blue colors reversed. Puerto Rico is a dependent territory of the United States, so therefore it doesn't affect the score here. Also, the Cuban flag is older, so even if Puerto Rico was a sovereign country, Cuba still wouldn't lose any marks. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we've reviewed the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So, for the national flag of Cuba, we get a final score of 8.1 out of 10.